Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Yvette of Uniquely Yvette. Welcome to the channel or welcome back if you're not new. This project this week could be something that you might be interested in if you want to put a little cute project in a children's room or maybe in a Sunday school class or even a, a elementary school class. It's going to be a frame around the light socket and it's cute it's you know it's just something to do i guess if you want something simplistic but cute i have here a quarter inch piece of plywood quarter inch thick and i have my template here this is a sloth i'm going to put i'm going to trace it onto here i'm going to keep it minimalistic just for the shape at first and then i'll uh, trace in more the rest of the detail after we get it all cut out but I'm going to be using my piece of um, carbon paper to get the shape of it onto this piece of wood I also have here a few strips of ply quarter inch plywood they are cut in one inch wide strips I don't need all of it I think I cut extra just in case I make more of these which I probably will this one here, I have planed down to probably an eighth of an inch thick. I'm using this eighth of an inch thick piece of plywood for the arms here. If you were going to be doing this project, I would advise just getting a regular piece of wood and then planing it down to an eighth of an inch thick or buying some piece of wood that's already an eighth, eighth of an inch thick. I planed this down, but this is plywood and it just because plywood is kind of composite or something it's kind of weird once you start trying to plane it down i took off a few layers and sanded it smooth and i'm just going to go ahead anyway and do these two arms i'm not going to fret over it but anyway let's get this traced onto this piece of wood and then we will cut it out at the scroll saw okay like i said i only did the bare minimum i really did a little beyond the minimum because I don't need to trace this on here at this time. I just need this shape here around the legs, the claws, the arms, and the head just to cut this shape here out. And then I'm going to trace the arms again onto this little thin piece so that I can cut them out and overlap or overlay them onto this piece once it's all painted. Here we are with the shape cut out. Here are the arms I cut out out of the quarter inch plywood. So now what I'll do is sand these edges and then I'm going to get ready to do the base paint. The base color of this project is going to be painted chestnut. I had said that the project I'm making is for like a light switch to surround a light switch but since I'm putting these things in my workshop what I have along the wall is the socket so that's what I would be working with I'm using these thin one inch wide strips and I cut them in lengths that will surround the light switch so I have two pieces that are long this way and I have two pieces that are short going across. And really you would just hold the strip up here and figure out how long each piece is. And just showing you how it would go like this, roughly. With the short pieces in between the long pieces, the sloth would be glued here. But I'm just showing you how it would hang on the wall. So the next thing to do is to just paint the strips with the same base color as the sloth, which is this chestnut color. 
what I've done now is trace all this detail on the template onto the painted piece that we cut out on the scroll saw. That's what we have there, and I'm glad it turned out great because previously I've done projects where the carbon paper smeared on the project. I think it's usually when it's white paint, so somehow it works out great on here on this chestnut color. So I'm using now these acrylic markers, paint markers to put more color onto the piece. And I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can find these on Amazon. I'll just color everything in and you can follow along. our project all glued together it's ready to hang up I'm going to be using these uh, one inch number six screws they're the smallest screws I actually have I'm just going to use two of them to attach this project to the wall I pre drilled one screw here and one here of course you could run these screws in here countersink them and then put something over it to have them disappear so they won't mar the frame but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and put them in. There we go. And this project is complete. I'm loving the simplicity of this project. It's cute, it's simple, easy, and fun to do. I think that any kid would love this around their light switch in their room or in a, like I said, a Sunday school or a children's classroom. I hope you enjoyed the project. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and give me a comment below. Let me know what you think and thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.